just wanted to do a video about the Travex Contour Wallet. So this is my first unboxing slash review video. So I'm gonna ask you to please be kind in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, it is August of 2021. I know there's lots of other videos out there for this wallet, um, but I noticed they're from several years back. Just wanted to put an update over out there because I did notice some differences. Uh, and they still have the tag on the side that tells you who was crazy. This one was built by Orly. Sorry if that's out of focus. We're getting right to it. It slides vertically. And I chose the contour with the brass and the steel gray leather. Overall, very happy with it. Top card here just peels up. Uh, there are instructions and information about the wallet. Uh, CNC machine fits up to 13 cards and 10 bills. And then the instruction on how to adjust it. So the first thing I noticed in older videos is they mentioned their wallet came with additional screws. Uh, there are no longer screws included in this package. It's basically the wallet itself and the adjustment tool. And that's it. Other screws used to be on the card. Uh, I've seen other reviews on the Tradebacks website where people have complained um, if you call Trayvax customer service, they basically tell you where you can go buy the screws. Um, and the main concern with that is if you read, read a lot of the reviews, guys are stripping their screws out with the tool. And I noticed on the card that they mentioned to prevent that, that they should only be using the short end for torquing so that you don't get as much torque, you know, mechanical advantage to strip your screws out if you use the the Allen key or the hex wrench this way. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I know it's probably cost savings to not give the free screws. I guess if you're gonna tell people to only use it in this way, then then grind this one off. I mean, take either grind it or saw it and, and get rid of it. Um, but otherwise, I, I have already adjusted this wallet, full disclosure, um, just the six screws, um, two per leather tongue, and then the seventh screw is for the, the snap which is actually not really a snap there's play to it. it it doesn't snap like the button on a coat or on a bag or something so the way i actually undo this is just give it a little bit of a push to release the stress on it and then it just flips up and then it's off it's not like a an affirmative it's just like a, a post and a grommet I guess you could pull on it. My worry doing this though is I'm gonna get this part really, this leather weakened really fast. Um, I kind of like it. Um, I thought this was gonna be difficult to get to to access my cards, but all in all, it's it's really easy to do once you get the number of cards that you put in here. Other reviews I was say, seeing that this the back of this post is um, if you have chip cards, it was messing with the chip cards. I, I, what I've seen, looked on the back, it's a very flat, almost like a nut in a channel, and it is flush. And then this, when you adjust this screw, it just tightens down on that. I'm sorry guys, if this is really hard to get into focus. There, and then there's a channel that that slides in. So from what I can feel, it's, it's not just flushed. It might actually be a little bit recessed. So if, if you have a chip card, it's not gonna rub on the back of this post. It's actually gonna rub on, the, on, on mine of the brass itself. Over time, I guess that might ruin an NFC chip, um, but it's not from the post itself. So if, if Trayvax saw comments and fixed that and recessed that, good on them. Uh, I can't see it, any damage actually coming from the post. I love these lines. It might be the perfectionist or OCD, whatever you want to call it. But I like it when I was adjusting the wallet. I can make sure everything is flush. The way I actually had to do that, here I have some fake cards here. I just put them in the wallet. What I found was I had to actually kind of push and, and wrap it around because I had a lot of slack actually on the bottom pull it around 
and then work it in and then hold it and use the key to tighten it down. And then the same on the reverse side, kind of push this extra slack out and around and tighten the key. Um, I didn't have to adjust the bottom at all. Um, that comes pretty much where you want it. Um, and then I did move this screw a little bit to adjust for the, the number of cards. I was shopping contour versus really element. And the one deciding factor between those two was the, the element has that additional bottle opener metal protrusion that I felt would be uh, over time kind of annoying. I did try a couple of other uh, minimalist wallets. I actually went on vacation with one. Um, what I like most about this, it, it came down to accessing the cards and just being able to do this and thumb through and get the, to the card that you want was fantastic compared to there's some holders that only have like a thumb opening here and you're supposed to, I don't know if you're supposed to like use your fingernail and push through and then get the card that, that posed to be a huge pain in the butt. Uh, I returned that wallet to Amazon immediately. This one, I, I love that there's actually four points. I mean, these cards are not coming out. There, there's four points around the wallet securing the cards and they, it doesn't matter how hard you shake this or drop it. As far as holding the money in, there is, I mean, it's just the one side. It's not, that's not coming out either. And it's, I've got this pretty loose to be honest with you guys. Um, I could probably move this screw down a little bit if I wanted this to be a little more secure, but I, I like the ease of how I can get to it. So even with it that loose, th this, this cache is not gonna come out. You can actually see it's kind of curved a little bit. So it's, unless you're really pushing, it's, it's not just gonna shake out in your wallet or your pocket rather. I haven't tried the bottle opener yet. Uh, it looks like it's geared for right-handed with the tongue you would put it on and lift up that way. I, I'm a lefty. I guess it would be like an outer twist, which is a little odd, but it should be fine. The only stitching on it is right here. Uh, I know on a lot of other Travex wallets they use stitching or paracord extensively for the connection, but really this is just on this, the for lack of a better term, like the thong <laughs> that holds the, the cash onto here. Um, so that's one piece of leather. And then the second piece uh, is actually behind the cards. That's really my only concern for weakness is, is if over time this threading is gonna fray or wear down or whatever, but Trivex has that 65 year heirloom warranty. So they're standing behind it. Uh, let's go ahead and Weigh this guy empty. All right, so empty weight is 2.6 ounces or 72 grams. Just as a comparison, oh, 74 grams, I guess. As a comparison, here's my old Costanza style leather wallet. That's 1.7 ounces or 44 grams. So the metal does add weight. The metal does make it more substantial. Um, I haven't noticed like it, I mean, it's like a half an ounce and a half. So it's not huge, but I mean, I personally, I love it. Um, again, I like the look, I, I like the feel of it. I, like if sometimes you figure out and you just take your phone and your, your wallet and set it down. I mean, this, this looks awesome. Um, so this is my, I have a Pixel XL 4. Um, and I'll often put my wallet and my phone in the same pocket. I mean, this is, is nothing. There's no concerns with putting this in the same pocket and have it scratch the camera. My case does have a little bit of a, a lip for the lens uh, on the XL, or the Pixel, sorry. But I'm not concerned with this. Even with the case off the Pixel camera, and I know some cameras do have a little bit of a bump on the back. Uh, as long as I put it this way, as long as I put it this way with the leather against it, I, I have no concern with this. There's nothing to scratch. If anything, it's actually scratching the leather up a little bit. If I did it this way, maybe this, this grommet would scratch over time. So what I'm gonna have to learn is basically which side my loop is on so I can just, you know, pat my pocket and let it 
this is against her, when I put it in my pocket to only put it this way, if maybe one of these screw heads or the grommet, that would rub. But nothing, nothing on the back where the cash would go is going to, to damage that camera. Final verdict, uh, I, I have no regrets. Um, I debated this purchase for probably about a month and did all the research. Ultimately just said, hey, if, I, if I'm gonna want to make the investment, I'm gonna make the investment. Really looking forward to see how this is gonna age over time. If the brass is gonna change, it's actually already, just from rubbing it, I'm getting a different color. Already from just rubbing it, I'm getting a, a different color. I don't know if there's a protective oil or something, but I, I am excited to see over time how this is going to, to age and change with the leather and the metal. Um, I don't think this top plate is going to, to change very much, but the brass I think is going to get some character to it. Uh, very happy. Uh, very happy with it. I, I'm going to smell it. It smells awesome. But yeah, just a couple of nitpicks. Um, I would have liked extra screws just just in case. Yeah, that's that's the contour. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video.